Here is a simple proof for Euler's elegant formula. e to the jx equal to cosine x plus j sine x. And a consequence of that, cosine x plus j sine x to the power n equal to cosine nx plus j sine nx. So uh, to do that, let's use the power series expansion for e to the jx. So what we have is we can write e to the jx or ix, whichever you're comfortable with, using power series expansion 1 plus uh, jx divided by 1 factorial plus uh, jx to the power 2 divided by 2 factorial plus jx to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial plus jx to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial. And you can keep writing this uh, forever, of course. But let's stick and let's stop at this point. Uh, so we're going to simplify this. So what we're going to get is 1 plus jx plus j squared x to the power 2. And j squared is negative 1. So what, what I'm going to do is instead of plus here, I'm going to write minus x squared divided by 2 factorial. And then plus, we have j to the cube, j cubed, j to the power 3, which means uh, we have uh, j squared times j, and that translates to negative j. So write, uh, rather than writing it this way, I am going to write it negative j x cubed divided by 3 factorial. And then after that, we have j to the power 4, which means j to the power 2 times j to the power 2. And these are negative 1 times negative 1. It means plus 1. So what I'm going to get is x to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial. And finally, here I get plus j x to the power 5 divided by 5 factorial and uh, plus this goes on forever. So let's keep the real part and imaginary part separate. 1 minus x to the 2 divided by 2 factorial plus x to the 4 divided by 4 factorial. And then after, and this goes forever, of course, uh, as you can see, uh, the next one will end up to be x to the 6 divided by 6 factorial with negative sign, and this goes on forever. That's the real part. For imaginary part, uh, let's just factor out j, and then rest of the imaginary part, it's going to be just x from this component. And then from this component, you have negative x cubed divided by 3 factorial. And Next one, you have x to the 5 divided by 5 factorial. And you can guess uh, this goes on forever. So we have 7 factorial and so on and so forth. This is a power series, uh, and it's a convergent power series for cosine x. And this is a convergent power series for sine x. So therefore, uh, this is just simply showing that we started from here and we got to these guys. So it shows, uh, as a result of this whole thing, that we prove the Euler famous formula that e to the jx is equal to cosine plus j sine x. OK, so this is now proven. Now, uh, the next one, is, which, which is this guy, is just a straightforward outcome. Because you would say, OK, um, uh, to prove it, to prove it, I'm going to just write it this way. I'm going to say, OK, cosine x plus j sine x to the power n. I'm going to use Euler formula for what is inside parentheses. And I'm going to substitute it with e to the jx to the power n. But e to the jx to the power n naturally is e to the j nx which, again, using Euler formula, is cosine nx plus j sine nx. And that proves the second formula that I wanted to show you today. So we are done with simple proof of this beautiful formulas. Um, and that concludes this video. Thank you.